My best friend is a guy called Bakary Sanya. At the time he was at Arsenal, he was at City now, mm. um, and now he's, he's going to go somewhere else. So, and, and he was a friend kind of before the he, this and celebrity world. Well, he, he came over from France, and I, I just by chance met him, and we started talking. At the time I had a Lambo. Now, with football players and celebrities, they've got to trust you. Yeah. Because everyone wants to try and rip off a of celebrity or try yeah. and take their money or try and get something from them. Yeah. And me and him became friends. So he said to me, after knowing him a couple of months and his English was really, really poor, I went around his house and he said, Janny, really broken English, but I won't do the impression. <laughs> Showed him a picture online. He said, Janny, I want this exact car. So it was a Range Rover and he wanted a body kit on it. He wanted a sound system. He wanted a wrap. So I looked at it and I was like, okay, um, it's going to cost about this. You need to send me some money. So I'm thinking, send me a deposit, send me 10 grand. He sends me the full amount, about 65,000. So the money lands in my account. I look and I'm like, wow. So I call him, I'm like, back, what are you doing? He's like, oh yeah, but Yanni, you said you get me the car. I'm like, don't ever send someone that amount of money that you hardly know. Because he didn't know me. Yeah. He's like, but why? I trust you. I'm like, but you don't know me. Don't trust me. Because you will get ripped off down the line. You don't need to sign for Arsenal. Anyway, yeah. we're friends. So done his car, he takes it to the training ground. So not many people know this story, to be fair. So he takes the training ground, everyone's like, wow, your car, it's amazing. We wrapped it in white. Um, and everyone's like, who done your car? And he's like, oh, this guy, Yanni. They're like, oh, someone in France, because obviously you've just signed for Arsenal. He's like, no, no, in England. They're like, what? Who is he? Mm. Anyway, I'm a massive gooner as well. And yeah. this, is, this is early days. So for me to meet celebrities and stuff, I was like a little bit gassed and excited. Yeah. My phone rings. Yanni, real deep voice. Okay, and I'm like, hello. He goes, come see me at the training ground. I'm like, who's this? He goes, William. I'm like, he goes, Gallas. Now, William Gallas, I don't know if you know about football, yeah. he's got a real deep, strong yeah, I'm voice. I'm a Liverpool fan. So. Okay, so, Sorry, well, okay. Yeah. so he's around me, so I'm like, okay. So I'm like, William Gallas is phoning my phone, knows who I am, yeah. cool. So I turn up to the training grounds. So I'm like, oh yeah, hi, you're Yanni, come in, park in the first team car park. Okay, you can't even get into the Arsenal training ground, it's, mm. it's that street. Yeah. So I'm parking, I'm looking around, I'm like, Ferraris, Lambos, Porsches, I'm like, Wow, okay, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like a child, I'm like yeah. a little kid, I want to take pictures of everything, but I'm like, let me try and keep it a little bit professional. Bat comes out first and he seems like, I'm like, oh, Bat gives me a hug, this, that and the other. So the players start coming out, one after the other, one after the other, and obviously Gallas comes out, he's like, hi, oh, Yanni, Theo Walker, this, and oh, hi, yeah, Yanni, and I'm like, how the hell do you all know my name? Like, I'm just, a, I'm a nothing, I'm just a car guy that's, that's starting my business. So when he's like, Yanni, I need you to do my car. So I'm like, okay, at the time I had an SLR convertible. That's about £350,000. I used to do my car, so I'm like, okay, cool, go take my car now. I'm not gonna say no. I'm definitely not insured to drive that car, <laughs> but I'm taking that car, left-hand drive. So he's like, here, take the keys. I'm like, okay, cool. He's like, take it, do it. I wanna go crime, I wanna do this, I wanna do that, no problem. So he gives me the keys, I get in the car. He's like, you know how to drive? I'm like, yeah, of course I do, of course I do. Turning the key, can't start the car. I'm looking like, like Yanni, Yanni. I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, I'm like, I just wanna make sure everything's okay, William. This, and he was like, oh, okay, okay. 30 seconds, 45 seconds, I'm still trying to start this car. <laughs> and I can feel myself getting red, I can feel myself getting hot. So I'm like, Yanni, in the middle. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Another 30 seconds, another 40 seconds, can't start the car. Yanni, in the middle, flip up the thing. Now, unless you've driven an SLR, you won't know. And this is like push start early days. Yeah, everyone's got push starts now, but back in the day, you have to flick up the center, then hit the start button while the ignition is turned to start the car. Yeah. Anyway, so eventually I get the, start, the car started. <laughs> Off I go in this 350,000 pound SLR trying to drive it around and I'm like, wow, that I said, not insured, driving around this, anyway, so I get it back, we do the job. Mm. He wants the car delivered to the stadium before a match and I know they were playing Blackburn at the mm. time, so I'm like, okay. So as I'm driving to the stadium, they let me drive and he's got his private plate driving, I park in like where the players park. Anyway, so I watched the game from my box, the game finishes, they won, I think 5-4, I think it was. Anyway, so he comes and says, oh, Yanni, the car's amazing, blah, 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 so we hug, I take a picture, I used to have like a little portfolio, um, it was before Instagram days, mm. So I do the car. He drives out the stadium, and you've got to drive out where the players drive out. So I followed him out. Pictures everywhere, fans everywhere, this and the other. I think, okay, don't think nothing of it. I can't remember if it was the day after or the, the day after that. Back page, Arsenal's chrome win, and a picture of his SLR bang centre nice. wrapped in chrome. That was the start of... And it just literally went would it go like that, bang. And that was yeah. it. And literally player after player after player started contacting me. And you've got to remember, William was at Chelsea. So not only do I get the Arsenal players, I get the French players, because mm. it was international. I get people like John Terry, Didier Drogba. And with football players, if they trust you, they will stay with you. And if you're recommended by another football player or someone that's high end, it becomes a snowball effect. Mm. So uh, one other example is JLS, Marvin Humes, had a Christmas party. I'd done all of JLS's cards. 
They invite me. He invites me to his Christmas party. I walk in. Harry Styles and all and all. Yanny, Yanny. And I'm like, you've got one direction. Mm. How the hell do you even know who I am? You need to do my car. You need to do my car. And again, I get Harry's n- number. I get Niall's number. Before you know it, I do all of 1D's cars. Mm. Um, at the time, only three of them had licenses. So I've done all their cars. And then snowball effect. And again, yeah. if they trust you, they will work with you. And it's mm. not about money. And listen, I couldn't go and rip you off today for £10,000. But that 10 grand I've made today, and I think, oh, great, that's probably cost me 100 grand in the future mm. because they'll never work with me again. And it only takes you to piss off one player or one big customer, and they will tell 10, 15 people mm. you're finished very quickly. So yeah. I'd rather make my money because it's a business, mm-hmm. but little money, but long term business. Yeah.